Hey team, it's Roy from Account Manager Tips here. Now, what do you do when your client throws you under the bus? You know, one minute they're all happy and you know, your best friends and then the next minute, you know, they're ready to pull the pin and you know, the whole thing's in risk and you're like, where did we go wrong? Well, as suppliers, we're disposable, you know? We're outside the organization, we're outside the internal politics. So it's, you know, if you're backed into a corner, it's really easy for your client just to, you know, point the finger at you. You're not there to defend yourself. I was at a meeting once where we had a few challenges. We were trying to like a agree on this whole like savings methodology and what we we're going to accomplish, but we were working through it. You know, there had been one commitment made at sales, and then you know months later we're still trying to turn it into reality because it kind of didn't work. Anyway, bring along my boss, bring along my boss's boss, the general manager. We all go to an introductory meeting to meet the new procurement person, and it's like, Warwick, you haven't done this. Warwick, you haven't done that. You promised us this. You promised us that, and. My contact goes, mm-hmm, I know, yes. And I was like, are you kidding me? Oh my God, I was like, I could have throttled her. I was so upset. I felt betrayed actually, because we had been working really hard together trying to make this work. And for her not to just forewarn me, to let me know this was going to be the, the um, agenda on the meeting, and to not support me and actually just say, look, we have been working through this together, felt really, really um, disappointing. If people are new to their jobs, you know, if they don't necessarily have the skills yet, perhaps um, that might be one reason, or maybe they're in way over their heads. Maybe it's well above, you know, they're punching above their weight. There's uh, more required than they're actually able to accomplish or have the skill level to do. Do they have a micromanagement culture? Ah, uh, you know, you'll know that because their boss and their boss's boss and their boss's boss, and every time that person rings you or calls you, like, oh, my boss has asked me for this, my boss has asked me for that. So a micromanagement culture can you know, lend itself to people looking to point fingers when things go wrong. Um, is this a new division? Maybe they haven't got processes or procedures in place to be able to manage the supplier relationship and what you deliver for them. Are they being acquired or have they um, made acquisitions or are they in financial trouble, you know? All of these things put the fear of God into people and have them ducking for cover and looking to, you know, save their jobs. And if that means pointing the finger at somebody else, you know, people are prepared to do it. Deep breaths. Calm, don't react instantly because it's an instinct to try and defend yourself, to confront your accuser or to confront the person that's thrown you under the bus. Don't do it. Take the deep breaths, let them speak, let them have their say. If they want to point the finger, let them point the finger. Go away, 24 hours later, compose yourself and then think about the next move. Try to remember it's business, it's not personal. They're not attacking you. It's about them and the challenges that they're having and their coping skills and the way that they react when they're under stress and under pressure. And if it's fight or flight and they've chosen to fight and to um, uh, you know, put your business relationship at risk and sacrifice that to save their own next, well, that's what they've done. And that's about them, not you, okay? So remember that. Talk to your manager. So they may have been in the meeting with you, of course, but if they haven't been, talk to your manager, let them know exactly what happened. The most important thing is that your company and your boss has your back. If you've got their support and they know that you've done the right thing and they can help you work through this with your client, that is the most important thing. So make sure you don't keep this a secret and make sure you don't let it escalate and that you actually get your boss involved straight away. Do you actually need to defend yourself? If it's a low level issue, you know what? It, maybe it's just one of those things you have to let slide. Chalk it up to experience. It's disappointing, but ultimately it's not going to jeopardize the relationship. And you know, maybe you can just be the bigger person, get through it and um, move on. Now, sometimes it's your credibility, your reputation and your honor at stake, right? And that is something that you need to protect and you maybe do need to actually defend yourself. Now, when I say defend, I mean uh, respond. And the best way to do that is to go in a sympathetic, conciliatory way. 
I would usually start out with something like, look, I apologize if there may have been a misunderstanding, but look, here is what we've done to date. Here is a summary of all the challenges that you shared in the recent meeting. And here's the next steps that I recommend and what we do moving forward. Do you agree? And instantly that's going to sort of douse that flame. It's going to um, shed some light on what you've done to date. And it's also going to be firmly focused on the future and try to put that past, uh, you know, put that, that incident uh, past you. And finally, prevent a repeat of the situation. So look back with a, a magnifying glass and really sort of analyze every interaction. Think about the people that you're talking to, what types of people they are, what, what led to this situation where you were actually thrown under the bus and what can you do to make sure it doesn't happen again? Now, just because they maybe want to you know, sacrifice our business relationship just to save their own necks, that's their issue, right? And we're account managers, we're professionals, and you know, we sometimes just have to you know, take it on the chin. Now, getting over it is probably the most difficult thing. And it was for me, it took me a little while. Now, you may find your relationship is not the same with your customer, your point of contact after this happens. That's natural. It can take a bit of time to get over what happened. That doesn't mean you can't be professional and you can't project an air of uh, confidence and professionalism and maintain a relationship. You will, over time, like they say, time heals all wounds. You will get over it. You will think about um, things differently. And you know, you may forgive, but not forget. That's okay. You know what? There's been situations in the past where somebody threw me under the bus really badly. I picked myself up, dust myself off, moved on. We continued to work together for years. Um, we had a good relationship. It was never the same, but it was still productive and we still managed to have a very strong partnership. And really it was about our two businesses. It really wasn't about us. So we had to uh, consider that in the bigger picture. So there we have it kids, that's my advice. I hope you never get collected by a bus and if you do, I hope this video helps you get through it. If this has happened to you in the past and you've got any advice, feel free to comment below. If you have any questions, um, hit me up on the social media platform of your choice at Warwick A. Brown. You can find me at my blog, accountmanager.tips. And until next time, bye for now.